Hello and welcome to HP Calc. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to use scientific notation with the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here, the mode key looks like this located here, and the times 10 to the power key that looks like this and is located down here. So scientific notation is great if we want to simplify really large complex numbers, but it might be difficult to enter into our calculator. If we wanted to enter it straight up, like let's say we got given 1.2 times 10 to the fourth power, and we wanted to enter that in our calculator, we could do it by simply pressing 1.2 and then using the times 10 to the x key, and then the four, which is our exponent. There you can see. 1.2 times 10 to the fourth, and we press equals, and we see that this gives us 12,000. Another example would be 3 times 10 to the third power. So we press again 3 times 10 to the third power. There we go. 3 times 10 to the power of 3 equals 3,000. We can also use this for calculations. For example, if we wanted to add 1.2 times 10 to the power of 4 and 3 times 10 to the power of 3, we could enter it like we did before. 2 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 3 times 10 to the power of 3 and press equals. And we see this gives us 15,000, which is correct. We can also use very small numbers in scientific notation. For example, if we had 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3, we would enter 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 and equals. Now this calculator likes to give us fractions, but don't worry, we can just press this SD key and that will convert it to a decimal for us. So we can see that 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 converts to 0 0.005. Now this is great for one or two things, but what if we wanted to get our results in scientific notation or had a lot of calculations to do in scientific notation? Well, for that we can change our calculator to scientific notation mode. To do that we press shift and then the mode key that brings up this menu here and we want to choose number 7 the SCI key. So 7, and then it'll ask us this, SCI 0 to 9, this is asking us how many decimals we want to include, or how many significant figures we want. For this example, we'll just go with 2. Alright, so let's go in reverse now. Let's say we had 12,000, and we wanted to get that result in scientific notation. Well, we would enter 12, and convert, and we see it has changed for us to 1.2 times 10 to the power of 4. Same thing with small numbers. So if we go 0 0.005, press equals. Again, this gives us a fraction initially, but if we press the S to D key, we see it converts to 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And when we're done with this mode and we want to go back to our normal calculator mode, we can press shift mode again, back to this menu, and we want to choose number eight, normal mode. So eight, and then norm one or two, we want to go with norm two. And we can see now we're back to getting decimals. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.